Fala tu, sub! Procurando aquela loja confiável e que entrega para adquirir o seu novo computador gamer? Os melhores preços de hardware no Brasil estão na Terabyte Shop. Compra lá e utilize os links da descrição. Olá amigos, como é que vocês estão? Meu nome é Rodrigo, você está no canal Rodrigo Altar, o canal que mais cresce no Brasil. E esse é o nosso quadro, A Hora do Espanto, com a saga do game Black Mirror. Vamos lá para a terceira parte, se inscreve no canal se você não é inscrito, se quer se dar uma olhada nos nossos patrocinadores nos links da descrição. Dá aquele like, compartilhar o vídeo para ajudar o quadro. E vamos lá. O crack é igual o João 1010, só vem para roubar, matar e destruir. Fuja da craqueagem e compre já sua licença ou Windows original ao site da GVG Mall. Links na descrição. O Deep Cool Gamax L120 RGB é um water cooler robusto com mangueiras resistentes, base de cobre, RGB e excelente custo-benefício. Mais detalhes nos links na descrição. Bom, então vamos lá. É... A gente tem que descobrir quem é o menino. É, se encontrar com a empregada após o jantar, né? A empregada parece que é a única pessoa que quer ajudar a gente aqui no jogo. Então, bom, a gente vai ter que encontrar com a empregada, mas é só depois do de jantar e eu acabei de tomar café da manhã. Então, é, eu acho que não é ainda... Agora ela falou na biblioteca, né? Vamos dar uma olhada aqui na biblioteca. E provavelmente não é agora que a gente tem que. David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. Upon my return. I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harris. Or maybe I'll just head to the chapel myself, just as soon as the weather clears. É, então um advogado ele meteu o pé, né? E acredito que não. É, acredito que não seja. This Dr. Farber might be useful. Perhaps she could shed some light on father's final weeks. I should contact her. Doutora Faber. É, então não parece ser aqui, né? Eu não vim, né? Aqui eu olhei em tudo. Aqui eu não vi, né? Let's see if my trusty key will get this open. Se a chave mestra dele abre a parada, né? I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. <sighs> Not like this. Ué, parece correto, né? Não. Ah, 
assim e assim. Aí fica faltando uma ponta, né? E parece ó, que tá faltando uma ponta aqui também na chave. Ó. Not like this. É. Eu acho que isso aqui não é agora. Oh. Definitely the man I saw last night. But how? Grandfather Edward died before I was even born. Then he'd be in his 70s if he was still alive. Bom, então esse cara aqui é o cara que jogou a criança mesmo, né? Mas a nossa quest aqui é quem é a criança. It's working. Has it been repaired? Or did Andrew lie to me? Então o advogado provavelmente mentiu, né? Deve ter ido encontrar outra pessoa que não viu. Aqui tinha foto, eu vi essa foto. Isso make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. A velha, o velho. Menina, né? Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood. blood. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. And that gets us. sair pela aquela porta If the old man I saw was really my grandfather Edward, then the boy must be I need to find out if that really was him I saw. É, então, ali entrar no jardim, né? Então, bom, a mulher falou que eu que se eu quisesse entrar no sótão, eu tinha que falar com 
o jardineiro, né? O Angus. Vamos ver se eu consigo falar com a velha. Talvez a velha tenha algo a dizer sobre a foto. Uh, Lady Margaret? Lady Margaret? Yes, David. Yes, David. Fotografia da família. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar on his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall? But you remember the date the photograph was taken? Hmm. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Então o moleque é o pai dele, né? Bom, já tinha imaginado. Bom, vamos ver se eu completei a missão aqui. Quem era o menino? Encontre o túmulo do quadro. Então talvez agora a gente tenha que voltar lá no na parada tentar sair da casa. Né? No jardim, provavelmente. Eu tô dormindo muito pouco, mano. Some fresh air. Ai. E caralho, filho da puta, corre o caralho agora. E caralho. Parte da foto encontrada. Master David, you could tell it was me. Your footsteps, I can the walk of everyone here. Well, that's that's rather incredible. So when could you have to get caught here, lady? That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most, and all. Father had a similar toolbox, back when he still fixed things around the house. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will not mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. Bom, tem que achar o túmulo. Né? Não, aqui é para sair, né?
Caralho, que doideira, mano. O jogo é grandão. Steady enough, vessel. If you trust your swimming skills. I can see why Rory likes this place. This view should ease even the most troubled soul. Parte da foto encontrada. Pô, só queria ver essa, essa foto. Essas partes. Cara, dê a volta. Então vamos lá em cima agora. Acho que ela lá é a capela, né? Yeah! A capela. O túmulo deve ser lá atrás. Esse aqui. É esse túmulo aqui. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah, these vines are too thick. I need something to cut through these. I need something to cut through these. I need something to cut through these. Vamos entrar, vamos entrar. Para David. Mm, locked with a padlock. Locked. Andrew lock. will have a key, but I'm not keen on waiting for his return. Então vamos lá. Encontre um caminho para a capela. Por aqui não é. Será que eu consigo roubar alguma ferramenta lá do maluco para abrir ali? Nobody left to mourn the dead, all care for their graves, it seems. Que doideira, né? Ter um, uma igreja com os mortos. Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. But in good order. Chave da capela. Cortador. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can what you need it for. Para dar um jeito no futuro. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. They deserve uh, to be remembered. Fair enough, lady. Just grab it yourself, will ye? Pega logo tudo. 
Tá, peguei esse aqui, então vou lá cortar a parada. Engraçado, será que se você der a resposta errada, será que muda alguma coisa? Será que tem que fazer outra parada? E aí, sub, o que, que você acha? Bota no comentário aí, sub. Fala assim, porra, eu acho que sim, porra, eu acho que sim. Porra, eu acho que muda. Better. Cecilia Better. Shaw nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Another part of the model, and it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did Father bury this when he was a child? How could I have known that something was buried here? I don't remember Father ever telling me about this grave. Father must have buried the chapel piece here for a reason when he was a boy. But why? And whose blood is it stained with? Caralho. Será que eu consigo cortar o cadeado com isso? Porra, fala tu, Sub. Porra, Sub, eu sou o cara, Sub. Caraca. Caralho, o jogo é muito bem feito, cara. É muito bem feito, cara. What is this? I hope you found your peace. Were you sick, like they say you were? Or the victim of this, this curse? This curse of the Gordons? Hmm, whatever it is. I think you may have passed it on to me. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Pô, né? O cagou pra igreja, mano. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries Rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. 
Caralho. Por the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us, as we kept the secrets of Skahandu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound to the land we protect. To the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What are you? Nossa, mano. Deu um calafrio nele ali. Que ele ficou até boladão, mano. Então vamos lá. Posso subir aqui? E caralho. Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. Da água, mané. All this looks like the bottom of a lake. What are you trying to show me? O Nemo. Urna. 
sana. Essa parada eu tenho que pegar ali, eu acho. Are you all right? Caralho. Yes, I'm all right. Uh, did you, did you see her? She uh, drowned. Calm down, you're in shock. What were you doing clamoring about in here? Uh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. Quem é você? What? Who are you? My name is Dr. Leah Farber. I treated your father at the asylum. The asylum? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you are all right. What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. How dare you? É greta, essa porra. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a, in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you were in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. Now, hold on just a minute. Jesus! Oh no! 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 Uh, uh, 
caralho. Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. How dare you! I was too late! I was trying to help her! She... She... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Oh, of course, man. Angus is cego pra caralho. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. I know you may have no reason to, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell, just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong, even then. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To remove himself from this place? I believe so. And yet here you are. In the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? Though I think what really scared him was beyond the physical. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. She must have drowned herself down at the loch. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. Bom. É... Quem era a nossa aliada, a princípio, partiu dessa para melhor, né? E agora a gente encontrou a outra, uma outra aliada, né? Que foi a, a doutora que cuidou do pai do John quando ele foi pro manicômio. Bom, galera, o resto vai ficar pra quarta parte. A história vai ficando cada vez mais interessante, né? 
Vamos ver lá o que essa galera aqui da casa tem a esconder. Espero que vocês tenham gostado de mais um episódio. É, esquece de dar o like no vídeo e compartilhar se puder. Um grande abraço e até a próxima.